The lessons I learned in Germany that also apply to life. Hey, I'm just getting on a plane about to go home. Just finished nine days here in Germany doing a five day workshop intensive. For the very first time with my mentor Blair Singer getting to share the stage. And I realized after these five days that the biggest problem that comes up, the biggest challenge I often face, and if I don't overcome it, <laughs> it causes me usually to have a lot of pain and self-suffering and anxiety and stress and problems in life. But if I can learn the lesson that I learned here this week, I can, and can face them and can overcome them, then incredible things come. Opportunities arise, finances work out, my dreams come together, my vision board comes true. And so I wanted to share that with you so that you can learn from my lessons so you don't have to go and repeat them yourself. So here are my three lessons that I learned this week. Lesson number one was with risk comes reward. But if I don't take the risk, I don't get the reward. Let me, let me give you an example. Uh, this week, like I said, I was on stage with my mentor Blair Singer for the first time ever. Now to do that, I had to fly all the way to Germany on my own time, on my own dime, in order to pay for everything. So an investment of a few thousand dollars in hopes that if I sell something, then I could maybe recoup my money. So without that risk, there's no chance of a reward. But by taking it, by going on that stage, by making that commitment, that is what created the opportunity for me. So that was lesson number one is, for me at least, maybe you're a bit like me, but be willing to take the risk. Lesson number two was I have to stay in the heat. There were many times this week. I've been on stages all over the world. This is my third country this year alone. It's February uh, 24th, I believe it is right now, when shooting this video, 2020. And I've already been in three different countries. I've got a few others lined up. The idea of being on stage with my mentor, <laughs> talk about playing a bigger game, oh, wow. Um, my anxiety went nuts. There was moments on stage where I wanted to quit. I didn't feel like I knew what I was doing. I had all this little voice crap going off my head. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Mention, make, say little voice down in the comment below. But my head was going insane, trying to make sure I was perfect, have all my notes ready. What do you mean? Four days worth of content, things changing on the fly. You know what, understand what I'm talking about? Yeah, shit just comes up. The bigger the game I play, the more crap that comes out of me and the more fear that arises. So lesson number two was to stay in the heat. And by keeping my ego out of it and just realizing where those thoughts were really coming from, I was able to stand on the stage and ended with a standing ovation and just incredible people from all over the world coming up and thanking me for the content and for the information and the support and also the push to push themselves to that next level. And now for lesson number three. Are you ready for this one? Because out of all the lessons, this was the most important one of them all. And I mentioned it already. Play a bigger game. <laughs> Let me say that again. Lesson number three is to play a bigger game. What I mean by that is, I thought I was really good on stage. I, was, I knew there was areas I could improve. I knew there was areas I could grow. But I've been on thousands of stages over the years. I came into this thinking, I got this. And you know what's interesting? You don't know what you don't know until you find out you don't know it. And what I mean by that is when I stood on that stage right after Blair, I realized that up until now, the level I was playing at was not the big leagues. And I was now on the stage with the big boy, some of the greatest, he was one of the greatest stage presenters of our time, one of the most powerful facilitators there is on planet Earth, you understand? And I was on a stage with him, and as soon as I stepped on the stage, I realized I've been in the minors all this time. And as soon as I got up there, there's lots I don't know, lots of areas that I can improve. But unless I put myself in that situation, unless we challenge ourselves to play a bigger game, there's no way we will know where we need to improve or how we can get better. So lesson number three for me is to just keep pushing, to keep trying, to keep stay, staying in the heat and playing that bigger game and putting myself in the position where I can grow and improve through life. So if you're a bit like me and you like to learn from other people's experiences, you like to continue to move forward and achieve your dreams and achieve your goals and are working to make every year or even every day the best possible for you, for your family, for your mission, then I want to hear about it. 
What is the game you need to play here for this year in 2020? Leave that comment down below. For now, I'm gonna see you in a bit because I got a plane to catch. I'm heading back to Toronto. Looking forward to coming home and I will see you all soon.